Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So yesterday I made a video for you guys telling you I was going to be playing Diablo 2 Medium XL. Uh, I did say I was going to try the Summoner Bar, but I actually didn't really enjoy the Summoner Bar. Um, I'm sure it would have been like much more fun endgame, but the thing is, is like it rotates like a bunch of different spirits. You have like melee spirit, range spirit, uh, buff spirit, and the problem, in my opinion, it's not really much of a problem. It's more of like a playstyle I don't really enjoy is at low level content since the spirits don't follow you they diagro or like disappear when you move like two or three screens now that does get fixed later when you get like their spirit walk you like basically flicker strike and all of your units teleport with you but even then you know when you're not in the high-end content there's not a lot of density sometimes your spirits just vanish and i felt kind of like i was playing like the path of exile flask meta you know i was constantly like you know f1 double tap f2 double tap f3 double tap so um, I ended up making a Paladin instead, and to my knowledge, I didn't know that Paladin had such, like, well, I guess they're all crazy changes, to be honest, but, uh, Paladin has some pretty crazy stuff. So, uh, to give a little example for those of you guys who don't fully know, um, hi, Minikay. came. Minikay wants to say hello to everybody as well. So, the Paladin in, uh, D2 Median XL has, uh... A ton of different ways you can build it you've got holy holy melee so this is like you know the righteous paladin uh the left side is the melee spec the right side is the caster spec the middle is holy neutral you can combine neutral with unholy vice versa you can combine unholy neutral with holy i i believe i could totally be wrong there i'm pretty sure that's how it works so the build we're playing right now is based on vessel of justice uh, where Vessel of Justice is kind of like, I mean, you could say it's like Righteous Fire, right? Uh, it puts a buff on your character, and your every 0.16 seconds, an enemy within 10 yards uh, gets pew-pewed by physical damage. Now, by utilizing life and death, and by essentially being on the dark ailment, um, or alignment, we get the advantage of the extra targets, so we get like, you know, multi-shot on it, and this will scale up, you know, much higher. Now... One thing to note is that this does scale off of energy. You can see energy has a big increase to it. Down here is Stormlord. Stormlord adds percentage to all, well, flat all attributes, and then the synergy of Stormlord increases the all attributes amount, which makes it so that Stormlord gives you essentially all stats, uh, which is really good for defenses. It's really good in general for just uh, meeting stat requirements on gear, and it allows you to kind of focus on, on a stat if you want, you know, with your level ups, because you, you get a shit ton of level ups from Stormlord. Uh, we also have Symphony of Destruction, which is another buff we put on ourselves that basically smacks a target and does a shit ton of damage for our, our current level. It's just a lot slower than Vessel of Justice. Vessel of Justice being 0.16 and Symphony of Destruction is 2.3. Then I have Mind Flay, which I ended up dropping out of because I didn't really like it. I much prefer using Slayer, and we'll go into that in a second. And then Tainted Blood is a re super good regeneration buff that we have. So I'm just going to go ahead and go get destroyed over here. So... <clears throat> to start, we have uh, Vindicate, which is, I think, a life regen buff. Uh, to be honest, maybe I'm just really bad, but it doesn't seem very good. Uh, then we have our Symphony of Destruction. Oh, Scam likely call? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now, Mr. Scam. Alright, then we also have our uh, Vessel of Justice, and then Tainted Blood, and then I do have some other skills, so... Uh, F1 is our Demiurge, which basically gives us a huge all-attribute bonus, if you look at our all-attributes here. With Demiurge active... so that's really fucking loud. With Demiurge active, we have a chance of spawning a Seraph. I don't really know how good that Seraph is, necessarily. And then F4 is my Slayer, which I decided to go into instead of... Uh, the, the skill I told you before, the Lightning one. What Slayer does is it's kind of like a stationary totem, almost. Uh, that just shoots out, which is really, really good, actually. They do a ton of damage, and because they can't be aggroed, you don't really have to worry about them dying. So it's like all the benefits of scaling minion damage on energy without worrying about their health. And then my last one is Euphora, which is a buff that gives me basically like pierce resist. And cold, fire, poison, lightning, etc. The only thing is, is that our main damaging skill, I would like to believe, endgame, which is going to be our Vessel of Justice, does not actually scale off of that because it's physical. Anyway... Let me go ahead and show you what the character looks like. So you can see that by just pretty much passively playing. Now I'm really scared because 
I don't know what does a lot of damage in this game yet. I've died one time to like a lightning enchanted guy because if you notice how fast this attack shoots, anytime you hit an enchanted mob, I'm pretty sure it just like fucking instantly destroys you because if you don't have resistance like me, it just shits out elements and that's not very good. These are like the Donkey Kong barrel dudes, man. Do you guys see this? You can see it's pretty good. It does really good on killing like the white mobs. Um, hopefully we can scale up the multi-shot more on it so it can get, you know, even, even better at killing the white mobs. Yeah, and just to go over my gear really fast to give you guys a quick rundown before I actually turn on the actual stream. Um, I've got gloves here. As you can see, they're extremely strong. Uh, I've got a Thunder Herald Heraldic Shield, which doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't really do too much for me. The main things I would say is I found this amulet with plus one all skills with spell damage and life and XP gain. Um, this helmet is pretty decent. It gives plus one paladin skill levels. Um, along with the actual all stats it gives as well. So this is actually a super good helmet um, that we made with Thull. Yeah, Thull made this actually. Um, then I have a, a weapon here that essentially has uh, Jihad as the socket on it. So, you know, I can uh, support my uh, fellow uh, Middle Eastern people, Kappa. It gives plus one Paladin skill levels, which is pretty much what we're stacking. And then my chest piece also is uh, Lumina Arcana, which is from Ith, which gives plus one all skills. Um, so that's pretty much what we're going with until we find like, you know, a set later on down the line, but that's probably not going to be for quite a bit. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing. Uh, feel free to check me out on the live stream at twitch.tv slash pox if you're curious for some Diablo 2 Median Exile content. I'll probably be in this for at least a couple days. Um, you know, I've, I believe the soft cap is level 120 and then pushing from level 120 to 121 is the actual grind and then at 121 you unlock like a bunch of different stuff so that's pretty much you know I've got the idea of what I'm supposed to be doing it's just you know act 3 is kind of like a fucking maze so once we get through act 3 everything should pretty much be good <laughs> anyway I'll catch you guys all later hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves uh, if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow <laughs>